Hello everyone. Hi guys, welcome back. Today we're going to make some stingy nettle cake. It's going to be bright green, delicious cake made mm. from stinging nettles. It's really easy and actually quite quick. So mm. come with us and we'll show you how to make it. For this recipe, you'll need a big bowl of stingy nettles, some margarine, some sugar, some self-raising flour, bicarb of soda, an optional courgette, and some free-range organic eggs. These lovely ones were laid by my friend's chickens that she rescued from a battery farm. Step one, we're gonna make a steamy nettle puree. Pop your nettles in the pan. Pour, pour over some boiling water. And we're just going to boil these for about two or three minutes. There we go. Just rinse off all that boiling water. Ooh. Now to make the puree. So we've still got a little bit of the water juice in there, which is gonna help blend it all together. You can just pop this in a regular blender, but we don't have one, we've got a hand blender. is as simple as that if you end up with a lot of water left from when we boiled them just pop that down the sink pop your puree to one side in a bowl so simple guys and all that lovely delicious nutritious nettle paste is there ready for our cake add six large tablespoons of butter or margarine or olive spread, whatever you have, to your bowl. Five and six. Six tablespoons of sugar to your butter. Three, four, five, six. And mix, mix, mix. Okay guys, so obviously you can use a spoon to mix your butter and your sugar together and all the rest of the ingredients, but I just find using the hand blender much quicker. Pop your oven on to 180 degrees Celsius. Add your four lovely free range organic eggs. I'm going to sprinkle on a pinch of flour. This just helps it all bind together. And mix, mix, mix. Time to add in our delicious stingy nettles. I'm going to add in a courgette and this is completely optional but I like getting hidden veg into the kids cakes it's always handy and also courgettes are so full of water they're great for adding to cakes to keep them really moist so I'm just going to grate this up pop in your courgette So I'm not using the blender now because the courgette would get a bit crazy. 
You could use a blender, I suppose. I quite like just changing to a spoon at this point, though. <laughs> Make a little well in the middle of your mix. I'm going to add eight tablespoons of self-raising flour. Three, four, Add a pinch of bicarbonate soda. Okay, so now we're going to mix in the flour and we're going to make a figure of eight as we mix. This is how my mum taught me. And this folds in loads of air bubbles into your cake. If your cake mix looks like it's a bit watery, just add a couple more tablespoons of flour. Especially if you add the courgette, that can um, make it really watery, which is a good thing, but the flour helps to bind it all together. Line your cake tin with some baking paper and then we're going to pop in the mixture. We're just using one tin but if you want to make a double layer cake with two tins, just line two tins with baking paper and share out your mix. Pop in the oven for 30 to 45 minutes. There it is, the beautiful stinging nettle cake. It's been in for 45 minutes. Of course, check it throughout just to make sure. Exactly 45 minutes. Beautiful. To check your cake, see if it's done. Pop your knife in. If it comes out mostly clean, you're good to go. We're going to leave it to cool for five to ten minutes before we take it out of this paper. Okay, let's check if it's set and it feels nice and firm. Now, here comes the tricky bit. So pop the plate on and in one, two, three. Da -da -da. Da -da. Our stingy nettle cake. And there it is. There we go, guys. Stingy nettle cake. Stingy nettle cake. It is delicious. Mm -mm -mm. Celebration stingy nettle cake. I love making cakes and adding in all the things from nature. It's so, so nice. I like them because they're quirky and you crack them out and people are like, what? Stingy nettle cake? Where did you get a green cake from? Stingy, stingy nettle cake? cake. What? <laughs> <laughs> but it is delicious, guys. Please do try it at home and let us know mm. in the comments if you have any questions. Yeah, and this is the basis of the cake and it's up to you guys to decorate it in icings and crystallized flowers however you like yeah show us show us what you can do we'd love to see yeah send them to us on facebook and follow us on facebook too <laughs> all right guys thanks for watching peace peace